Picture this. There's a team working hard on a cool new tech product. They are excited, but when they launch it, something's off. People aren't connecting with it like they hoped. That's where user personas come in. By really understanding who their users are, the team turned things around. Suddenly, the product wasn't just liked, it was loved. Here's the kicker. Studies show that using these user personas can make designing stuff way easier. Like over 130% easier. But get this, most companies aren't using them. It's like having a secret weapon and not even knowing it. Our story, inspired by real events, shows just how important it is to understand the people using your tech. Crafting these user personas isn't just about being creative, it's about making sure your product speaks directly to the folks who will use it. It's a journey that can turn a dud into a hit. So as we dive into the world of user persona creation, remember, it's all about putting a human touch on technology. One persona at a time. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And if you want to become a certified product manager from SP Jan School of Global Management, gain expertise in AI powered product management courses with ChatGPT and Google Bard. Top product tools with 100% interactive live sessions led by industry experts and SPGEN's top faculties. This professional product management course by SPGEN School of Global Management prepares you to become a product manager via an exhaustive curriculum covering all aspects of product management. This program focuses on the latest industry trends, advancements, and related industry applications taught by top product experts via live session. So this SPGEN's academic excellence and product expertise from experts from companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and more. So don't forget to check out the course in the description box and the pinned comment. So let's get started. Have you ever been curious about how tech giants like Spotify, Amazon, or Netflix seem to intuitively know your preferences? offering up songs, products, or TV shows that perfectly match your taste. The secret behind this almost psychic ability isn't a result of mystical foresight. It's the strategic use of user personas. If you want to know what user persona is, so user persona are semi-fictional characters that businesses create based on real data and insights from their actual or potential customers. These personas are crafted to represent key segments of a product's audience, including detailed profiles that encompass not just basic demographic information, but also behaviors, goals, needs, and pain points. For instance, consider Fitness Fiona. Now we'll see a persona for a health and wellness app. That is Fiona, age 30, is an outdoor activity enthusiast who seeks motivation and tools to track her fitness progress. So the creation of such persona is driven by a desire for empathy and a deep understanding of users' needs, allowing designers to create products, services, and experience that truly resonate. So you could see the example of a persona here. And this is for the fitness Fiona. That's a quick overview we'll have it. So first we have the age and occupation. So the age is 30 and the occupation is digital marketing specialist. And then we have the lifestyle and interest. So the lifestyle is, it leads or she leads an active lifestyle with a keen interest in outdoor activities like running and hiking and value health, community and personal growth. And then the goals. She seeks to maintain a healthy, balanced lifestyle despite a busy schedule and aims to stay fit and participate in community fitness events. And the challenges she was facing was struggles to find time for regular workouts and to stay motivated and overwhelmed by the vast amounts of fitness information available. And if we talk about her app usage, so she prefers using fitness tracking apps and engaging with health and wellness content online. Looks for apps that provide personalized workout plans, nutritional guidance, and community support. And the tech saveness that is high integrates technology seamlessly into her fitness journey. Fiona represents the target user for a health and wellness app, guiding the development towards features that addresses her specific needs and challenges. So this was about a user persona of a lady that is Fitness Fiona. Now moving to the role of user persona in the company or any role you want. So user persona play a pivotal role in guiding the development and marketing of products and services. Their impact is far reaching, influencing decisions across various stages of project development and execution. So let's see the points. The number one is enhances user centered design. 
so user personas keep the focus on the user's need preferences and behaviors ensuring that product design and functionality are tailored to meet the actual requirements of the target audience the next is improved product development efficiency by understanding the specific needs and challenges of the personas teams can prioritize features and functionalities that offer the most value thereby streamlining the development processes then we have facilitate better marketing strategies knowing the personas help in crafting targeted marketing campaigns that speak directly to the interest needs and pain points of potential users improving engagement and conversation rates then we have aids in content creation and personalization content can be designed to resonate with the personas whether it's blog post social media content or email marketing ensuring higher relevance and engagement then the point is enhance user experience with insights into the personas preferences and behaviors ux designers can create more intuitive interfaces and interactions that enhance satisfaction and usability and then the point is guide product customization and innovation understanding the evolving needs of your personas can lead to innovations or customizations that keep your product or service competitive and aligned with user expectations and then we have supports decision making when faced with decisions about feature inclusion design changes or market positioning user personas provide a preference point that reflects the user's base collective needs and desires so these are the role of user personas and the creation and utilization of user personas are foundational elements in crafting products and experiences that truly meet and exceed user expectations driving satisfaction loyalty and ultimately business success now we'll see the process of creating user personas so creating user persona is a structured process that combines research analysis and creative synthesis the goal is to generate actionable insights that guide product development design and marketing strategies so we will have an overview of the steps involved in creating effective user personas so the number one step is conduct research start by gathering data about your potential or existing users this can include qualitative methods like interviews focus groups and and through graphic observation as well as quantitative methods such as surveys and analysis of user behavior data from analytics platforms so let's understand this with an example so let's consider a scenario the development team for the eco stay app starts by collecting data they conduct online surveys targeting travelers interested in sustainable living they also analyze forum discussion on eco tourism websites and interview frequent travelers to understand their preferences and concerns so the next step or the process would be analyze the data look for patterns and commonalities in the data collected this might involve segmenting users based on demographics behaviors preferences or goals the aim is to identify meaningful groups of users who share specific characteristics or needs and the findings we have from here is from the research the team notices like we are again back to the example so from the research that was done that was the conducting the research so the team notices patterns many respondents prioritize sustainability but also express concerns about cost and the authenticity of eco friendly claims they identify three main segments budget eco travelers luxury eco tourist and eco conscious families so these were the findings analyzing the data and then we have create draft personas the next step so based on your analysis start drafting your personas each persona should represent a significant segment of your audience include demographic details behaviors needs goals challenges and any other relevant information that defines the persona so you could start drafting the persona that could be for the budget eco traveler and any name beth then you can have her age occupation goals what challenges she is facing and then the next step that would be refine and validate personas refine your personas by gathering feedback from stakeholders and comparing the personas against actual user data when available so this step may involve revisiting your research to fill in gaps or clarify aspects of the personas and for example the team that was the app team that shares beth's persona with eco tourism experts and real travelers fitting beth's profile for feedback adjustments are made based on suggestions such as emphasizing the importance of community reviews in beth's decision making process 
So this was about the refine and validate personas. Now moving to the next step that is develop scenarios and goals. For each persona, outline key scenario or task they need to accomplish with your product or service. This helps in understanding the context in which your personas will interact with your offerings. So let's consider scenario with an example only. So Beth, for which the persona was created. So Beth is planning a two week backpacking trip across Costa Rica. So she uses EcoStay, that app person was making. So she uses EcoStay to find budget friendly, verified ecologies and hostels. So key features she looks for include sustainability certifications, user reviews and easy booking options. So this was about her. So now moving to the next step that is apply personas. So use the persona to guide decision making in product development, design and content strategy and marketing. Personas should inform features, user interface design and the overall user experience as well as targeting and messaging in marketing campaign. And if we talk about the example, so the EcoStay app. So that development focuses on features like a verification batch for accommodations with authentic eco certifications, a budget filter with a sustainability rating and a community review section. So this was about apply personas. Now moving to the next one. Or the marketing campaign highlights stories from budget travelers like Beth, showcasing the app's ability to combine affordability with sustainability. Now moving to the next, that is review and iterate. So user persona should not be static. As your product evolves and you gather more data about your user, revisit and update your persona to ensure they remain accurate and relevant. And about the iteration. So after the app's launch, user feedback and usage data are analyzed. The team finds that eco-conscious families are also using features designed for budget travelers. So the personas are updated to reflect their crossover, leading to the development of family-friendly features and content. So throughout this process, it's a crucial to remember that personas are tools for empathy and understanding, designed to keep the user at the heart of product development decisions. While the exact details and depth of each persona can vary depending on people's scope and the available data. The fundamental goal remains the same to create a product that resonates with and meets the needs of your target users. So now moving to the next topic that is applying persona to product development and marketing. Certainly applying user personas effectively streamline both product development and marketing ensuring efforts are closely aligned with user needs. So now we'll see a condensed overview. So starting with the product development, number one point would be feature focus. Use personas to pinpoint essential features that truly matter to your target users, enhancing the product's value. And then design decision. Tailor design elements to match the preferences and tech proficiency of a persona, improving usability and user satisfaction. And then we have personalized experience. Leverage insights from personas to customize user experience, meeting diverse needs within your user base. Now coming to the marketing team. So the points are tailored messaging. Craft messages that resonate deeply with each persona, addressing their specific interest and pain point for more effective communication. And then we have content strategy, developed content that speaks directly to the concerns and goals of your personas, ensuring greater engagement. Then we have channel selection, choose marketing channels based on your personas preferences, optimizing reach and impact. So let's see a simplified application example for a fitness app aimed at users like fitness Fiona. The development team might focus on personalized workout plans and social sharing features while marketing efforts would highlight success stories and tips for busy lifestyles directly catering to Fiona's interests and needs. So by focusing on these streamlined points, both product development and marketing can more effectively align with user expectations, driving engagement and satisfaction. So this was about the process of creating user personas. And now moving to the real world success stories. So real world success stories serve as powerful illustrations of the tangible impact user personas can have on product development and marketing strategies. So we'll see two examples showcasing how companies have leveraged personas to achieve significant results. So the number one example would be Spotify's personalized recommendation. So the challenge Spotify faced was Spotify sought to enhance user engagement by delivering personalized music recommendations tailored to individual taste and preferences. And the solution they got was by analyzing user data and behavior patterns. Spotify created user personas representing different music preferences 
listening habits and discovery preferences. These personas inform the development of algorithms that power personalized playlists such as Discover Weekly and Daily Mix, providing users with a customized music experience. And the outcome it generated was Spotify's use of personas and personalized recommendations led to a significant increase in user engagement and satisfaction. Discover Weekly alone reached over 40 million users within its first year, driving longer listening sessions and boosting user retention rates. Now moving to the next example that is Airbnb's host and guest personas. So the challenge was Airbnb aimed to enhance the experience for both host and guest by understanding their distinct needs and pain points. And the solution they like output or the outcome was detailed personas for both host and guest encompassing demographic information, motivations and behaviors. So these personas guided product development decisions informing the design of features such as host profiles, guest reviews and search filters tailored to specific preferences and the outcome that got was by aligning product features with the needs of their user persona. Airbnb achieved significant growth and improved user satisfaction. Host felt more empowered to showcase their properties effectively while guests enjoyed a more personalized and seamless booking experience resulting in increased bookings and positive reviews. So these real world success stories highlight the transformative impact that user personas can have on product development and marketing strategies. So by understanding their users on a deeper level and tailoring their offerings accordingly, companies can drive engagement, retention and ultimately business success. Now talking about the common pitfalls and tips. So navigating the creation and application of user persona comes with its share of challenges. So here we will see some common pitfalls to avoid and tips to ensure effective use of persona. So the common pitfalls are over generalization. Creating personas that are too broad or stereotypical that can lead to inaccurate representations of your user base, resulting in ineffective strategies. And then comes the point lack of data validation. Relying solely on assumptions or anecdotal evidence without validating personas with real user data can lead to misleading insights and misguided decisions. And then comes the static personas. Treating personas as static representations of users can result in outdated or irrelevant profiles. User needs and behaviors evolve over time. Personas should be regularly reviewed and updated. Ignoring negative personas. Focusing only on positive personas can lead to neglecting important segments of your user base with different needs or pain points. So these were the common pitfalls. Now the tips for success. So the number one is conduct thorough research. Invest time and resources into collecting both qualitative and quantitative data to ensure your personas are based on accurate and comprehensive insights. Then comes the point, validate persona with real users. Use surveys, interviews and user testing to validate personas and ensure they accurately represent your target audience. Then comes the iterate and update regularly. Continuously revisit and refine your personas based on new data and insights to keep them relevant and aligned with evolving user needs. Then comes the point, Focus on key personas. Prioritize personas that represent the most significant segments of your user base. Focusing your efforts on addressing their needs and preferences. And then comes involve cross-functional teams. Collaborate with stakeholders from different departments including marketing, design and product management to ensure alignment and buy-in for persona-driven strategies. And then comes user personas as decision-making tools. Integrate personas into your decision-making processes for product development, marketing and content strategy to ensure user-centric outcomes. So by avoiding common pitfalls and following these tips, you can harness the power of user personas to drive informed decision-making, improve user experiences and ultimately achieve greater success with your products and services. And in summary, user personas are invaluable tool for understanding and empathizing with your target audience by creating detailed profiles based on real data. You can inform product development, design and marketing strategies effectively. Avoid common pitfalls like overgeneralization and static personas by continuously validating and updating them. With user personas, you can prioritize features, make informed decisions and tailor the experiences that resonate with users ultimately driving engagement and business success. With that guys, we have come to the end of this session. If you like this session, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments or any doubts, you can comment them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Love. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.